Welcome back to Cheap Horsepower, everybody. I wanted to show you this. I actually got an intake from a five horsepower to work on this three and a half. So usually these have that carb that comes out and then there's a little tank on the bottom. Obviously, they're not very good for go-karts and things like that uh, because there's no real way to set up your throttle linkage unless it was a go-kart engine already. This was actually off of an edger. So the reason why I did this is so I could put this on a go-kart. I'm converting the carb over to this really nice PZ19 style carburetor. Uh, this is off like the Teo Teo dirt bikes, but you can get these carbs on Amazon and eBay for like 10 bucks. And they're incredible. They work really, really well. They're really reliable that I've noticed. Um, even this old dirty one still works. Um, and that's, uh, that's really nice because they show a lot more resi resiliency um, than, the, um, uh, than the other models like this. Now, these thread in. These are M10 bolts. It's going to go up there and look at the fit. I mean, it is like a glove. There's one thing you need to do, though. You gotta drill out these holes a little bit to make them a little bigger because it's just a little too skinny um, here and it needs to be a little bit wider to match up with this. Um, so that's all you gotta do. And this is aluminum so it takes like two minutes. I mean just zip zip and you're done uh, with a good drill bit. I use a step drill bit on these um, just to get a little bit bigger. Uh, obviously, you don't want to go too big and break it, but uh, but it should be good. I'll see you in the next one. All right, welcome back to Messy Horsepower. I mean, cheap horsepower, of course, but I did make a little bit of a mess because I'm using this. Uh, and not only that, it's, it's cold out right now, so we're working inside. And of course, I'm going to sweep this up, otherwise my wife would kill me. <laughs> and right here is why we did that. Take a look at that. Now, I can pass those bolts from the other side, get this all bolted up, and I'll have a working carb. It's been my experience with these style carbs on this engine or this um, engine size. They pretty much start right up uh, first pull once you put a gas tank on that's going to work for it. So, hopefully that's um, going to happen this time. So, I'll show you guys that here in another video, but check out the intake. I mean, it literally bolted right on in the stock location other than one bolt. So the original uh, carb, it goes here. There's another threaded hole already there and it bolts up for that intake. I can't believe it. It was so cool. And like I said, I believe this is off of five horsepower. Um, somebody might correct me if I'm wrong, but these intakes off of other Briggs and Stratton engines work perfect. So keep that in mind because this could save a lot of you guys a lot of trouble. If you got one of these engines laying around and you want to put it in something, but you're afraid of that carb that was on there originally, this is your solution. Finding this intake might be a little uh, difficult, I would assume, but if you have another parts engine laying around with this intake, well, you're... Uh, you're doing good, because that's what I did. <laughs> All right, see you in the next one. All right, welcome back to Cheap Porter's Power. It is complete, finished bolted uh, bolting of the carb. It's all nice and tight. Um, it's ready to be thrown on a machine. I'll have working throttle for this thing. Um, oh, this is very important. This is hitting, so I'm going to just trim that off, either with a cutting wheel and make it nice and... Uh, um, smooth or uh, I can just go full caveman and snap this thing off um, either one is going to work um, but I just need it to uh, to not be like this otherwise it's going to be choking it the whole time that's not good that is not good so I'm going to go ahead and do that worst case scenario if I got to take the, the choke off I will but I think I'll just have just barely enough room yeah it looks like um, to have this bar slide once uh, this piece is off. Uh, worst case, it just kind of hangs off a little bit or it hangs up a little bit every time I, I do that. 
uh, but at least I'll still have, uh, uh, you know, a choke. So, anyways, long story short, it's ready to go. I'll see you in the next one when uh, when that choke is fixed. Well, I went full caveman, and I did the right thing. So, now I still have a working choke, as you can uh, see. So, now I can actually still choke it. It's a little difficult, obviously, but uh, if I need to, I can put a different arm on there. But at least I get the desired effect. Or I can just hand choke it. Um, when I'm going to start, I can just kind of cover this with my thumb. And that'll do the same thing. So, uh, ready to go. Like I said, I'll find a, a machine to put this on. I, I have a feeling this is going to be in the mini chopper that I'm building. So... You'll see that in the next couple of videos.